A Drake University dining hall cashier is discovering just how much her student customers love her. Meet Marietta Jackson and hear the story behind her infectious smile. Thank you, Brian. How are you, buddy? You're doing all right. You know you're loved. Yeah. When was the last time a lunch lady <laughs> greeted you by name? Hi, Anthony. You know you're going to be on TV. <laughs> How are you? Good, how are you? Marietta Jackson is no ordinary lunch lady. For 15 years, she's been a powerful light that brightens the Drake University Hubble Dining Hall. Hi there. Hi, Marietta. How are you? Doing well. How are good, you? good. And she makes everybody that passes by her cashier Hi. station feel right at home. And she's an amazing woman. Uh, she's always so kind. She takes care of us, and she always makes you feel special. They love me. I love them, too. They know I'm the mom away from home. <laughs> you know, she knows everybody's name. She lights up your day, makes you feel welcome. Um, you would never guess what she's going through what she's going through. What she is going through might wipe that smile away, Thank but you. not Jackson. I have ovarian cancer, which has not been pleasant at all. Jackson has been on and off the job and in the hospital dealing with scary health issues. I love you so much. I was sad. I was frightened, scared. Not good news to hear. Nobody wants to hear you have cancer. See, I like to get all the syrup off the table because I'm getting ready to serve lunch. Jackson learned of her diagnosis in January. She started chemotherapy in February. The chemo makes you tired, not feel good. But I would rather be here looking at those smiling faces than to be at home. It just, it brightens my day. Doctors are discussing possible surgery and more chemo, <laughs> but they say Jackson has a special way to help heal her illness her attitude and her faith. Well, God woke me up this morning, and if I can get through this day, you know, maybe he'll give me another day. Eventually, Drake basketball player Maggie Bear opened up a GoFundMe account for her. It raised more than double the original $15,000 goal for medical expenses. I feel surrounded with love. And that love is mutual. To have that level of warmth and comfort and joy come out of this one little body <laughs> is something that I feel like everybody looks forward to. I know I look forward to it. Jackson says she's trying to work as much as she can through her diagnosis, and she asked us to let her send a message. I feel the prayers, and I am truly blessed. Thank you so much. I don't even know how. I don't even know how to say thank you. Thank you. <laughs> a special person surrounded by her special students in the lunchroom. Can I have a hug? Yes. <laughs> Oh, I love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> Jackson clearly appreciates all the love and support she's getting here at the Drake Dining Hall, and she says she will need that love as her cancer treatments continue over the next couple of months. <laughs>